everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'm going to share with you my very first mini album that I've ever created. And to create this album I'm using um, some supplies that you can buy from Meg's Garden. The papers are called the Sherlock Book and you can buy them as a physical product and also as digital download from Meg's Garden. A lot of my embellishments are also available from Eggs Garden and I'll have a list of supplies in the description section and as well as um, on my blog. In the first part of this video I showed you the steps I used to create the actual book. Because this is the first time for me to create a, a mini album I wanted to use a style that would allow me to use bulky embellishments and I showed you how I did that. What I'm now going to do is walk you through how I embellished and um, also show you each page of my book. So for the front cover of my book I did some extra stamping and I've also used some um, tape just to add some extra vintage touches. I've used some chipboard pieces and to decorate the chipboard I inked with a dark brown chalk ink, then I used some distress paint which I just dabbed in random spots and then I applied some crackle medium to make it look aged. Once it was dry, I'm not sure if you can see, it's left a really nice tiny, tiny crackle and I'm really happy with the way um, it looks. I've also used some flowers and some metal embellishments as well. To close my, my mini album I've used this lovely metallic ribbon, this organza ribbon and what I did was I measured the length of my book and just found out what the halfway mark was and used a hot glue gun to a, a, a apply the, um, to rather to attach the ribbon then I found some metal attachments and hot glue gun those into place and it's very secure. I've opened and closed this many times and it's very very secure. For the spine I've also used some papers which um, you can use which are part of the kit and um, measured it but you can't do this step until you have completed your album. Before I actually applied my um, spine, I um, put this in because I knew I wanted to put some beads. And these beads are also from Meg's Garden as well, and also this little um, metal embellishment as well. Just some leftover ribbon I just tied here just to add a little touch as well. So now I'm just going to show you inside the album. On the first page, again you can see that I've carried the tape through. These tags are also available in the kit. There's some um, different tags there with different papers. I've um, inked the edges and applied some of the metal embellishments and a little flower um, seam binding and a braid. You can use this for some journaling. I've uh, applied with doily and also some um, flowers. I applied this um, little section here because I wanted to put some tags in. To cover the spine I just used some lace and I've done this throughout the whole entire album. I created this pocket and um, used some metallic trim which coordinates beautifully with this ribbon. Um, there's some ephemera also available in the kit and you can use this as some extra journaling as well and that fits really nicely inside too. On this page, again the same th treatment with the, um, the chipboards. I inked with chalk brown ink and randomly dabbed some metallic paint and then applied the crackle medium on top. Um, I've applied some uh, foam adhesive on the back just to prop it up so that later on when I want to um, put a photo in I can simply lift it up and put my photo behind. Um, 
applied some flowers as well. This page, same treatment again with this chipboard frame. Um, this time I went for a different uh, position for my for my tags. This is another of the tags from the kit. And I've made some smaller tags and I just used um, some dies that I had and cut out a smaller, two smaller tags again for embellish, uh, for journaling and um, applied some jute just so that you can pull those out easily. These pockets, I just used um, some spellbinder dies to create that just to um, add a lacy edge and um, I really like the way that that looks and just inked it just to add some definition. Some extra stamping and some washi tape just to add some interest to this page. Just glued some metal trinkets and um, I had some chipboard um, headings that I add there just to um, add some extras to this page. I also used the second half of my doily here and some flowers and also some fibres just to add that shabbiness and also vintage look. I inked the edges of the leaves too just to give the um, page and age look to keep that theme consistent throughout. Again some more metal embellishments which you can purchase from Meg's Garden. Part of the kit has lots of pockets and um, options for journaling. So here is one of the pockets. Um, I just cut it out and um, applied it. Inside there is some ephemera that I've created it um, by inking it and I add a little trinket that was um, that is part of Meg's Garden supplies and just added some jute so that you can easily pull it in and out so just in case it gets lost inside. I added some of the metal trinkets as part of my floral cluster here. Extra stamping as well and I'm not sure if you can see but I've got some um, little fibres inside there. Uh, some tickets I just had some book paper that I've inked just to add some interest and this is a photo map where you can easily add a photo. This page I've die cut a frame and um, ready to place a photo. Added some lovely flowers, again the lace to cover up the, um, the centre there. And this waterfall insert, this is a, a lovely way of adding lots of photos and this paper is available, there's several sheets which are available in the kit and um, makes it per perfect for journaling. So in this waterfall insert there's pattern papers plus some journaling on the back. Um, I've added some butterflies and some, of course some flowers just to add some decorations. To create this waterfall insert I played around with some scrap paper and you'll need to cut a 6 inch by 3 inch page first and then all you do then is cut 6 3 inch squares and then you score each of those squares at half an inch which I've done there. Once you've done that every time you glue one down you just butt it up to the, the previous one then you just desire, um, decorate as you wish. I added some washi tape so that it covers up the, the top part there so you don't have a blank section from where that score line is. On the back, similar to the, it's the same pattern paper as the front. So there you go, that's my first ever mini album. Um, if you'd like to create your own, simply go to Meg's Garden where you can purchase these papers plus embellishments or if you'd like to download again, go to the website and um, purchase your download from there. So thanks so much for joining me today and have a great day.